What is up, trans viewers? Hopefully, y'all are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, and or night. It's Raging Mimic Q, bringing you the first episode of the new year of Pokemon Unite. So, this series is going to be more about what are the best mons and how to use the best mons for solo queuing as you make your way to either Ultra or Masters. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and join our Discord down below so you can keep up to date with any videos that go live or any streams that are live. Without further ado, let's get on into the battle. I mean, be real with me, like, if you're running Golgut and you're the jungler, it's a bad item, right? Because then it just shows that you're not confident in your ganks. You're more likely to just, like, backdoor score and just not do damage. You're better off just running X attack, and even X attack has like its own ups and downs. But it's definitely like much better than running Goalgetter. Right. Let's grab this over here. Even then, though, I think that was just going to miss naturally. Alright, that was just enough sauce. He's on a cooldown. And we got that. Nice. Although, I we could have got that a lot faster if I didn't miss. Yeah, unfortunate, but it, it's fine. I'm pretty sure Lucario is running stacks too. Like, I feel like most Lucario players typically run stacks. Okay, but I could use the level 4. But he, he might just push him to me. Or not. I'm actually surprised I didn't get that with my basic attack. Yeah, but it's level 5, so like if it's running Shadow Claw or Play Rough, you still gotta be worried about that. I don't remember what exactly the move level is for Lucario, but... He definitely still has a Meteor Mash. I'm just trying to focus on getting 5, so at least I can do, like, be a little bit more tanky over here. No, but of course, like... I don't understand the timing with some of this. Like sometimes you can see the enemy in the bush, other times you really can't. And then it just doesn't make any sense. Like there goes my focus ban, I'm gonna have to back up here for a minute. Jungler's up here though, so maybe we'll have a chance. Nice. Oh, but so is theirs. Well, we could try if Lucario hits it with the Meteor Mesh. Nice. Wait, I'm gonna back up though, because otherwise, like, if I get hit by... Actually, no, it's running Air, um, air Slash. Okay. I mean, Air Slash dive specifically. Do not take that, or at least try not to take that from me. There we go, because now we evolve, and then we just go down for bot. Uh, I guess he is almost level 9, so he kind of could use it. I'm actually surprised they're pushing it, to be honest. See if I can aim this right on the money. Or he's just going to retreat. That works too, I guess. And like as Blastoise, I just feel like it's a better position. It's better that you stay like on the right side just to like block any incoming like enemies. With your surf. Or even like with water spout and uh rapid spin. Let's see if we can hit that. Nice hit. I don't have all I don't think Dragonite's gonna push that. Yeah. Because they're running outrage, so they gotta watch out for the uh 
and fusion. Nice. I would say probably just back this up and maybe just try to just go for the objective. Nice, push it into them. Push them back. There we go, nice. Clean. Clean kill. I mean, hey, if Primer wants to stay down there and just like fuck up his team, that's totally fine. I don't have alt, so like normally in a situation like this, I would just try to backdoor score like over here. Because we don't have enough pressure. Like we have Lucario alt and stuff, but I don't think Lucario alt is going to be enough in this situation. Like, if we all had all, like, see, that that's the thing, Kramer got its all, so, like, as a result, there's nothing I can do about that, with or without, just because they have, like, hindrance resistance, or not hindrance resistance, but uh, unstoppable. And then here comes the bottom objective, where we should just be at to begin with. I almost have ult. Let's see if we can stop Kramer in here. Yep, there it is. There's the buzz wall. Which I was trying to predict earlier, but did not happen. Let's see here. Get that. Got my alt back. Let's see if we can hit these guys. Yep. Ooh, nice. Okay. Barely got that. I actually don't even know who got that. I'm pretty sure Lucario barely got that. And then like it, like here's another thing, when you get the bottom objective, it doesn't really make sense to backdoor score if it's past the five minute mark. Cause like they have launch pad, they're just gonna hop right on top of us. With or without gold getter. A scissor has alt, so like they're not in a bad position to be honest. Oh, okay. Hit me. That's fine. Ah, I was hoping to surf the Dragonite within that. Nice. Good hit. Let's see if we can catch that. Cool. And now we can just do the objective for free. Like, it's just a flawless game. It's for now. I mean, it's not over just yet. I'd still say just focus on scoring in that area because like when you get the objective they're all going to be focused with just scoring over there or um not scoring but focusing on uh killing regilecki unfortunately though buzz was like right behind me so i'm just gonna have to flee here and it did go in so like i wouldn't say push it just because like yeah dragapult's kind of hurt and almost dead or is dead actually it's tempting to score but i just don't think it helps I guess Lucario technically does get closer to getting their ult if they didn't have it, but now, like, we broke it, but if they die, like, our Espeon, then, like, now they have, like, a longer cooldown because of that MVP rating. So now, like, we're down for, like, the next 9 seconds, pretty much. Actually, 10 seconds. So just as long as we're not, like, pushing, unfortunately, Lucario just kind of went to go back to our score for 15, even though they have all, which... To me, doesn't make any sense. It's just kind of beyond me. Like, yeah, this is kind of like how you unfortunately die here. Nice. Good hit. Let's see if I can back up and... Yep, there we go. Kind of what I was aiming for. In case it didn't die, we could have just hit it with that. And we win. GG. Not bad, I just genuinely think backdoor scoring doesn't really help. Like, we would have gotten the objective either way. We would have had our entire team for that fight. And once we just killed them, like, we could have just gotten the objective. Like, the 100 points doesn't make a difference when you can just 
score like triple that if you get the objective or Rayquaza. 45k, not bad. Dragon Ball did really good. Um, I was expecting more damage from Lucario, to be honest. Espeon was doing pretty good too. The, the all timing was really good there, I'll give him that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the power of Blastoise. It's just that good for solo queuing, to be honest. That's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you want, make sure to give Blastoise a try for yourself in Pokemon Unite as you make your way to Masters or Ultra. Without further ado, hopefully y'all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, and or night. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Later.